Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to another episode. We are at the bottom of our first week here in Season 3. Things are going well, we've been making solid progress so far and we're starting to get a mean looking setup as we get on with our melee training now and our slayer goals that I outlined yesterday. I do just want to take a minute to talk about a news post because there was an update yesterday between the time that I recorded the last one and this one to low level Slayer. Along with all the things, the news blog's great, I recommend going and reading it if you're a lower to mid level account and you, you want to know about things like there's mining, agility and Slayer changes mainly. But one thing I'm sure you've probably already noticed is these task lists for the Naka and Chaldar have had a lot of the less desirable tasks removed from them. Bronze Dragons would be shit. We don't want to do a Bronze Dragons task ever. Steel Dragons, Iron Dragons, Bronze Dragons here, also great to have them gone. You'll see Lizards has been taken off both lists. Right now, we have a Lizards task from the Naka. Anna was complaining about it. We cancelled the lizard task that we got from Childa. Anna was complaining about it. We're not going to have to worry about that anymore because they are gone. So are all the other little shitty things that you never want to do like cave slimes and rock slugs and fucking harpy bug swarms. So I think I'm going to go with Childa, see how it treats me. And if I'm like not a fan of the tasks I'm getting, I might swap over to Vanaka. But either way, we have had some great, great buffs to Slayer today, and also reduced minimum and maximum quantities for the lower level Slayer Masters, so the tasks we get, we should get through quicker, which is nice as well for the Slayer point build-up. So yeah, some really nice changes to Slayer, some decent changes to Agility and Mining as well. Haven't had a full chance to dive into it all yet, of course, but I just wanted to go over that at the start before we get into it, because it's huge for us right now. Right. Let's get on into our burbs and herbs run. Let's get ourselves equipped. We need to reset as well. So the plan today, aside from the burbs and herbs, is Slayer. I'm going to be doing it pretty much for the entire session, unless anything pops up that distracts me like a, a clue scroll drop or something like that. But yeah, we're going to finish off our lizard task that we'll never get again. Shouldn't actually take us that long, like five minutes maybe. We've got like half of it done yesterday just at the end of the day so it's a quick task even if it is an annoying one and yeah we're gonna be doing strength based slayer now i would actually like to see if we can get together about 700k cash for another little upgrade well actually quite a big upgrade it may even be worth selling the fury so that we can temporarily buy this item because it's more impactful than the fury will be for our slayer training specifically and i'm sure many of you may have guessed already what item i'm talking about here it is of course the black mask it gives some huge benefits to slayer it gives an extra 16.6 percent upgrade to both your accuracy and your damage which is insane there's no top in it and it is definitely better for us than a nezzy helm and right now they're actually a reasonable price i didn't, hadn't checked before because i thought they'd be like over a mil which was what they used to be when i ever last bought one whenever that was unfortunately that first patch died but is what it is oh wow another one died that is not good at all. It's going to cut into our profits for today. Might 
be the thing that stops us from getting that 700k to be honest, two herb patches dying. I don't know how much we even have in the bank right now. It's not ideal. About 350k. Please let the others all have survived. Yeah, I thought Black Mass were gonna be like a mill-ish, but they're only about 660k at the minute, which is very reasonable for a 16% accuracy and damage buff. So it will improve the speed of both our Slayer and melee stats that we're training alongside Slayer, which is great there's no reason not to do it i think it probably is worth selling the fury to get it if we have to got 11 birds nests as well weird little gathering okay that is the burbs and herbs done we are gonna go to the grand exchange just need to get myself a wealth just making sure there's nothing hiding that could be worth a bit of money I mean, we don't, we're not really using our Alks anymore, so not really got much of anything, though. Ooh, I don't know if we'll get one. Oh, we got one straight away. Look at that. We've only got 40k in the bank. Let's get ourselves a couple super strengths and a couple super attacks. It does work out cheaper than buying super combats, I realised. If they buy, that is. But yeah, we don't have a lot of money to uh, to chuck around here <laughs> at the minute. Oh. Okay, that is nice. That is very nice indeed. We've got the Black Mask for Slayer. That is going to be our best in slot there. And we're also still got the Fury. We're going to want to get a mixed hide top and put that in the Slayer tab too. Because I realised that that is what we should be wearing up top. And then I think we're good to go. Let's just get... Oh, we want a Wealth really, don't we as well? Just a Jewel in there. And then we want our combat potions. Just getting my bank a little bit cleaner so that it's easier for me to not spend as much time here when I do visit. Okay. We want a Draymond and an RD Cape and an energy or two. One Stam. Gonna have to be a bit stingy with them because we're broke as a bitch. The coolers, a bit of food, skins. And we're off for the day to do some Slayer with this horrible ugly mask on our face. It does kind of ruin the look we had, but I don't know, it's kind of Tomb Raider-esque, isn't it? Here we go. No idea how many of these we got left. 48, shouldn't take us too long. I don't know what it is about these weapons, but I have to say they're super satisfying to swing. Maybe it's the sound effect. They just feel good. They feel good. They might not be that good, but they feel good. There's a Slayer level. Up to 26. Getting closer to our initial goal of 40. Of course, the lower levels of Slayer not that interesting, but as we start to unlock more interesting Slayer monsters, they do improve. I'm not going to prayer pot for my prayer because I actually don't think it's needed. And I'm not going to reset with a dueling ring because I want to keep these boosts for as long as I can. So I'm going to make a very quick trip to the Ardit Monastery after I've done this task to reset my prayer, but not my stats. Last one. All right. Let's see what Cheldar's got for us. Something nice? Greater Demons. A few moments later. Okay. Quick trip to Falador. Just about afford ourselves the initiate armor. Which I'm going to take because we're gonna need every prayer point we can get. This is gonna be a long task. I have accepted that. It's gonna be a very long task. We're not gonna finish it today. But it's gonna get us decent Slayer XP. Which at the end of the day is what we're here for. We do want our RD cape so we can reset our prayer effectively, I think. Yeah, maybe some food in case. I don't feel like this is gonna go very well just off the bat. That's the wrong way. Like I would have I would have one hundred percent ranged these if I had any choice in the matter. But we do not need ranged XP like at all. So how much prayer have we got? Five minutes? If I put on ultimate strength and incredible reflexes we've got one minute forty six. I can't really afford them right now unfortunately. So I'm going to be just praying melee the entire time I'm here. I assume. 
Yep. Okay, I'm gonna report when this ticks down. At least we're getting fairly consistent DPS here. Like, the defense isn't that high, so they're not that bad. Yeah, they've got zero defense on all styles. Minus 10 to mage, actually, I did not realize that. So we could mage these guys. That might be a way to get some magic levels. But we don't really have a good magic weapon. And it'll cost runes, we need melee more, and we just got the black mask to do. I think because we have no money at the minute, we're going to have to rely on the monastery a lot for our resets. Actually thinking about it, this is not the best way to get here. We should teleport to CIS instead, and then we can just come down this vine. Although we may have to leave it once to be able to do that, so that's a good point. Now we've unlocked that shortcut. Like, I will make use of these prayer potions, but I can't afford to buy any more today. I guess I probably won't need them today, and tomorrow we'll have herbs, so... Yeah, we're probably fine, to be fair. But I definitely can't afford to be praying ultimate strength and incredible reflexes, unfortunately. It's just like the DPS. Oh, we got Slayer level as well. I totally missed that. No, not bad at all. We'll probably get a fair few Slayer levels out of this task, to be fair. Is my auto retaliate? Oh my gosh. I was just sat here waiting for my character to do something. This is actually super chill. I'm getting to do AFK training for once. And I'm like not stressed about the clock ticking down because it's not as shit as woodcutting where you're just waiting for logs to appear in your inventory. You're always actively gaining XP. Getting towards another Slayer level as well. I don't think these guys drop very much. I haven't seen anything so far other than random coin drops, but... Rune Full is probably the best thing they drop. And bring natures with me. We can access the gem drop table as well. So we could get like a D-Spear or a Shield Left Half or something through that. And in Soul Demon Heads! <laughs> that is another thing we can get. Ancient Shards, though they can't be sold. Could get Dark Totem pieces, theoretically. There is 28 Slayer, total level 1150. Some death runes for the trouble. I'm basically gonna wait now till my prayer runs out and these combat buffs are pretty much gone, and then reset at Ferox. I clear all the food out of my invent because I don't need it and it's just taking space so I don't be able to pick shit up that does drop and get myself a dream and stuff so I can get in by this entrance rather than teleporting. I can also then bring Alks in the room pouch instead. I wonder how many days this task is gonna take us y'all. I don't know how long I've actually been here killing the Greater Demons, I don't know what time I started on the clock but Done 16 so far? 17? Ooh, I've just thought as well actually. I might get myself a pair of rune boots. There is a strength level, 54 coming in hot. Very nice indeed. I'm gonna be doing strength up till 60 I think at least before I move on to something else. Yeah, because I can't wear dragon boots yet, because I need 60 defense, which we don't quite have. But we can wear rune boots, and they'll be cheap as fuck too. Well, that being said, we don't have any money, do we? I think they're only about 8k though. 7k. We can get a pair of rune boots. Okay. Ferox first. Probably get about another 15 minutes. 15 to 17? I don't know. I'll be going until like there's five-ish minutes on the clock then. Yeah, we can afford a pair of rune boots. We got 100k! There we go. I don't actually know whether I should be taking these prior potions or just resetting. I feel like I should probably just be resetting, but the longer I can stay there without, the better, really. It's kind of a tough one. I'm not sure 100% what to do there. You know what, let's get some more mahoganies. Just like that many should do for a few days. We've already got seeds for tomorrow. Okay, just topped up a bit on potions as well. Now we had a little bit more disposable income. We will want a ring of dueling when we're going to the end of the day. So yeah, I think we've got everything I will take. 
Just a couple of Karam ones in case, but we don't really need anything. Let's go. So we'll go from here because it's closer. Now yeah, we got 91 at the minute. We've killed 20 greater demons so far. Fuck, what's the code? C I N S. Why do I feel like that's not right? Oh, what's right? I should have just trusted my instincts. Now we can just run from this fairy ring, for those who don't know. Around the wall here to the little hole that I opened earlier. Uh, which I'll tag so I can see it through things. Okay. Back and in action. Let's see how many great demons we can kill in the next 15 minutes down from 91 and then we'll get an accurate read from that hopefully i'm gonna have to do this uh i'm gonna have to flick it's just it's correct there is 29 slayer and our first ancient shard i mean if we get three of those we can make arc light but i don't think we can use that till 75 attacks so we're never gonna be able to use it those are pretty useless for us I really can't be asked to flick, but it feels like it's actually increasing my DPS so much. Okay, yeah, that did increase my DPS, but that's about as much of it as I can stomach. My uh, concentration is not there to correctly do it. I keep taking hits and fuck me. <laughs> We did just get 10 demons done in 5 minutes though, which is quite impressive. 30 second kills at our levels. Okay, I'll do a bit more. There's 30 Slayer coming in. Oh! We got a genie! That is our first genie ever on the account 3 seasons in! Holy shit! That's actually huge! We got genie girl! I mean, I'm probably just gonna whack it on Slayer, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so happy we finally got a genie that we could actually get. Because there was like two in season one that trolled me by being at the end of sessions. Look at us go. Is there anywhere I could put it that would be better? There's not many skills that we care about at this point, that's the thing. I suppose agility wouldn't be a bad place to put it. And we'd get more value for money because it's a higher level. Okay, so we are going to need agility, crafting, and fire making that are absolutely mandatory. There's no escape in it because those are the prerequisites for the quest that we need to do to unlock Tombs of a Mask. So 62 agility. I mean, five, five fire making levels is nothing. We can do that at Wintertop now. Probably take like half a session maybe a session for crafting levels is pretty easy we can just cut some gems and we have a bit of money to buy some stock the agility is probably the most painful one even with the changes that were made today although that they do make it better some of the more annoying fail points on rooftop courses have been removed so you know we can't fall at the end of the cannabis course anymore for example but i think this lamp is gonna have to go in agility it just makes the most sense Potion dose is about to run out now. So, one potion dose gets us roughly 22 demons if we're flicking. Which isn't bad. It's about two kills a minute. Obviously, the qu kills come quicker at the start of the potion dose and slower towards the end. But, I'm just gonna stay and get a couple more kills, run dry my prayer. And then go do a birdhouse run before the day closes up. Maybe we can get one more level too. Okay, back to Ferox. Get ourselves a quick reset and grab this agility lamp, 490 XP. Save us like a lap or two of an, a course. We will get rid of all that shit and that tab's messy. <laughs> Only two nests on that run, unfortunately. 
not the best, but I am just gonna reset my invent so that it is all ready for tomorrow. We're all good there. And yeah, we're about done on the day, folks. So, where are we at? Well, well, well. We need to put our rune boots on there as well. Is that our current setup? The initiate stuff. Okay, yeah. The Slayer tab now looks okay. This Ring of Wolf is still the worst thing, but we're gonna upgrade that to a Brimstone eventually. We just need 4 mil, you know, nothing major. Right now we got 67k, which doesn't look too hot, but with Renar, weeds coming in every day at about 350k worth, though if you take the seed cost off. We get about 220k a day from Renars. We will build it up eventually. We get a bit from the Bird Nest as well. We've got some from Miscellanea as well. The main cost today was this Black Mask, which, like, is, I doubt it's going to tank any lower than it already has because it's pretty low at the minute. We got it at a good price. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to sell it at a very similar price when we're done with it at the end of our Slayer journey, which, uh... Is 48. We did get up to 31 Slayer today, so I'm kind of hopeful that 31 to 40 is about 20,000 XP, so it's quite a bit still. But I'm kind of hopeful we can get towards it tomorrow. We should definitely finish our task. We have done 46 out of 111. I think we spent about 25 30 minutes there maybe i don't know i might be underestimating that but we should be able to get it done in tomorrow's session i reckon uh, i don't think we'll get much beyond that point though this is one hell of a big task for us at our combat level but it is nice xp and we managed to gain 55k today from it and from the other little bits and pieces we've done so yeah 30k strength xp gained up to level 54 almost 55 we are almost equalized with our attack levels now and then we can go a bit higher than that even slayer up to 31 i think we we're on 25 at the start of the day maybe 26 uh, just a tiny bit of prayer xp from scary nashers nothing really and then our standard a bird house hunter and farming xp from the farm runs yeah that's about it things are going well i'm feeling real good about the account at the minute with our like our melee setup is actually kind of gnarly i don't know i feel like we're shredding but maybe we're not for these levels i feel like we are i think you're good i'm happy with the progress of this series we're on track for a solid solid attempt at a raid in the future <laughs> i don't know when in the future but not too far away make sure you stay tuned for it by hitting the subscribe button and leave a comment down below let me know if you're enjoying the journey i'm real happy with how this is going at the minute but i don't know how it is for footage especially today all we did was really new slayer tasks i'm not sure how i'll have edited it probably with music behind it or whatever but yeah it's super chill right now and solid progress and i'm having a blast hope you're all still enjoying it with me Hit that like button to show your appreciation. It does help out a ton, both promoting my videos into the algorithm as well as just letting me know that you like the videos I'm creating. So that I keep creating them. Not that I have any intentions to stop, especially with my lovely 260 subscribers I've now amassed. Thank you all for being part of the widowed conglomerate. I do appreciate you to no end. But I will stop blabbering now, because... I've been blabbering for long enough. All that is left to say is look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.